Hi, this is Jim from My Water, Earth, and Sky. Um, today I'm here to talk about phosphates, phosphate removals. Um, phosphates are the new boogeyman in the pool supply industry. Um, I'm here to, today to tell you why you don't need phosphate removals for your swimming pool. Um, what we hear about on the internet is they're a food source for uh, algae and that algicides are no good. Well, I'm here to tell you that algicides inhibitors are a, a great way to keep control of your pool. And, and phosphates, if you're worried about phosphates for some reason, um, you need to do a couple different things. Uh, one of them is go back to basics and scrub your uh, wool, uh, walls and floor of your pool and skim the top of your pool. A lot of phosphates come in through the trees and the air and this is one way of controlling somewhat. Uh, you'll notice that when you scrub the walls, there might be algae hiding behind steps or sunspots you'll get on your pool wall. And that's where algae goes because algae feeds off the photosynthesis. So it need, needs that sun and that's where the first place you'll find it. That's why algicide is a, or algicide inhibitor is a great way to uh, relieve these uh, patches of algae that's, that cling to the wall. So uh, every other day, scrub your pool and skim it at least once a day. Every week, shock your pool. You want to maintain your chemistry always. Alkalinity, pH, everything is adjusted. Everything stays the same. Um, once you lose that, you're going to see a lot of algae. You'll be up the pool store taking your wallet out of your pocket. But shock your pool once a week. Algae, uh, uh, algicide inhibitors are great to use once a week, especially in the summertime. Um, keep on top of your pool chemistry. Um, Scrub your walls. Uh, make sure that you're, you're uh, running your filter long enough to uh, turn your water over in your pool. Um, use a clarifier. After you use the uh, algicide and the shock, use a cl clarifier, let the pool uh, filter circulate, and then vacuum to waste the next day. You, that layer on the bottom that sinks to the bottom is, uh, has phosphate in it has organic, inorganic material, algae, and phosphate. You'll, you'll, it's, a, it's a good way of getting uh, rid of the algae because it's only going to come back again. It shouldn't be an, an important fact for you to worry about. It's a constant. And if you need more uh, information on this article, go to my website at uh, www.mywatereearth.com. This is Jim, and I'll see you down the road.